Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here at San Diego Comic-Con 2019 at the Diamond Select Toys booth with Mr. Zach Oat. How are you doing today, Zach? I'm doing good. It's great to see you, man. Yeah, great to see you as always, man. Yeah, enjoying the convention so far? Uh, yeah, yeah, real busy, a lot of sales, uh, working the cash register, but uh, yeah, good show. Yeah, a lot of stuff flying out of there. It's like looking pretty empty on the other side of the booth over here, so that's really cool to see, man. Yeah, a lot of sellouts, which is good. It's good. Yeah. We don't have to bring it home. Yeah, yeah, it makes it a lot easier. But you have some stuff that you do have to bring home right behind this glass right over here. Looking yes. pretty sweet. We have a lot of busts going on. I'm seeing some new busts yep. over here. This is our Legends in 3D uh, section. So this is all half scale. Uh, we call it half scale because some of it's uh, big monsters. Uh, but half scale resin busts. So we've got a, a couple, of, a whole shelf of Marvel, another couple of Marvel down here. Uh, we've got our, we're showing off uh, Pennywise from It for the first time. We're showing off Bruce Lee, uh, the Rocketeer. Uh, this is Alucard from uh, from from uh, Castlevania, and we're showing off our Mortal Kombat uh, bus for the first time, uh, Sub Zero and Scorpion. We've got a Godzilla, and we've got uh, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man down there. Oh, and uh, Thanos. You gotta have Thanos. Ooh, yeah. So uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat's a new license for us. We're just showing off some stuff here for the first time. Cool. Yeah. No, I love it. I like how I like the creativity with the bases right here. You got the ice and the fire. Yeah, and oh, no, my... they did a great. The designer Joe Allard does a great job with each piece. That's awesome, and then you have some, and then you have some selects right here mixed in with some other statues going on. Yep, we got uh, we got our Rocketeer select. We're showing off for the first time. Uh, this is going to be part of an assortment of figures along with our Black Hole selects. Um, a lot of people are excited about the new Black Hole line that we're doing. Uh, but Rocketeer, we got um, a resin statue, we got a gallery PVC, we got a Vinnie Mate here. Also up on this shelf, you can see Sub Zero, our gallery Sub Zero, which is um, again one of our first uh, Mortal Kombat pieces we're showing off. That looks great. I love that ice effect. Yeah. Down here, we've got our uh, Jay and Silent Bob uh, reboot yes. figures. Uh, so you got a skinnier Bob, and you got yeah. Jay in his new look. Thin and, man. Uh, yeah. We haven't solicited these to retailers yet, but hopefully in the next couple of months, and we'll try to have them out around the time of the movie. Did you see the trailer? I haven't got a chance to watch the trailer oh, yeah. yet. I've, I've listened to somebody else watching it. It sounds hilarious. Yeah. So I got to go and sit down oh, and I, watch it. I can't wait. Yeah, we were at the Kevin Smith panel yesterday, and yeah. he showed some footage on top of the trailer and everything. Oh, and. Yeah, there's a whole explanation of Brody and comic book movies in there that, yeah, it's awesome. That's it's, fantastic. It's it sounds like great. an amazing cast. they got so many people together from all the different movies and from all the projects he's worked on. So it's really yeah. great. Even Hemsworth is in there. Yeah. Really? Hemsworth? Yeah, oh, yeah, my gosh. Yeah. I knew, uh, you know, you got, you got Affleck, you got uh, yeah. Melissa Benoist from Supergirl. You know, it right, just sounds, yeah. like, sounds like a real fun movie. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. But yeah, some other goodies over here too, yep. right? The Black Hole selects are um, Maximilian, and then you get Vincent with Bob. Vincent, the the new guy, and Bob, the beat-up one. Um, we're also doing Vinnie Mates for them, which are four-inch kind of cutie vinyl figures. Uh, the select figures are going to have a lot of interchangeable parts, and they'll come with a diorama for the inside of the ship, the spaceship. Cool. Um, down here, we've got our Godzilla PVCs. Uh, these are pretty cool. They're, um, re they're recreating um, classic movie posters. So this is Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. And this is uh, God, uh, this is Rodan and Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Yeah. Uh, which um, I don't think we're going to do Mechagodzilla in this particular pairing because he's kind of a big ghostly figure in the back of the poster. Yeah. But we'll probably do a Mechagodzilla in the next pairing, whatever we do. Maybe Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 1. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Uh, down here we got Bruce Lee. Uh, oh, no. Bruce Lee took a tumble. Oh, no. um, our select figure, Bruce Lee, is going to be coming out real soon. Uh, you should be able to get that in the stores within the month. Um, but that nunchuck, that yeah. whole nunchuck, that's like the Thor effect yeah, like, like that you guys had done. For Thor, we got the spinning hand nunchuck. Yeah, um, that's awesome. And we've got a couple of Vinnie mates, uh, and we've got the gallery PVC of him kicking. Uh, we're showing off this Premier Collection statue for the first time in the white shirt. Uh, this is the first time we're showing that piece. That's a $150 statue. And this one, this is like a $300 statue, I think. And this is coming out in... Um, or a $500 statue is coming out in 2020. Yeah, that gold it's paint his, on there. It's his 80th birthday statue. Oh, excellent. And then we have some more Nightmare Before Christmas behind yep. the glass. Nightmare Before Christmas. we got Series 7 and 8 action figures down here. And uh, you're going to be able to build the uh, guillotine diorama with that. So that's a pretty cool diorama for, for collectors. Um, I think that'll be a real popular piece. So you got to buy all six, uh, all six sets in Series 7 and 8 to get the, all the pieces. Well, that's uh, awesome. we got a new gallery that's exclusive at Hot Topic. We got a new milestone statue that's gonna be offered pretty soon. Yep, getting that. The collected the coffin dolls. We're putting out one where he comes with a cool new head and a cool chair. Ooh. And then you got our Star Wars section right here. We've shown a lot of these pieces before. Uh, they're all up for pre-order now. Uh, there's one new piece here, which is uh, Ray with a helmet on. 
and that's a new piece we're showing for the very first time. So that's going to be coming out in, in later in 2020. That's pretty far off. Wow. Yeah, we're working pretty far ahead at this point. A lot of these things are coming out, you know, uh, fall or end of the year or even early 2020. But she's she's way out there. Loving that Han Solo and Carbonite up there, yeah, too. Yeah, that's great. a cool one. Nice. Then we have some DC stuff. Here we've got a uh, couple of uh, st- a few statues, uh, tr- Trinity statues. We're doing Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman from just from Justice League animated series, and we're doing uh, a new PVC gallery of Batman that you can see there to the right, firing his grappling gun. Yeah. And we've got a couple new busts: uh, Harley Quinn and uh, Mad Hatter. Jervis Jervis Tetch. Yeah. Down here we've got our um, Pennywise uh, It shelf from It Chapter Two. We've got a lot of cool Pennywise products, including a PVC gallery, a couple of PVC galleries, and a Vinnie Mate and our D forms. The Predator. That's a new PVC gallery. Uh, and these are our Westworld action figures. We're going to have uh, Robert Ford, uh, Anthony Hopkins. They did a great job with the likenesses on these. These are all General yeah. Giant Studios joints. Uh, you got uh, Dolores, uh, Evan Rachel, Rachel Evan Wood, and you've got Man in Black, Ed Harris. It's a really great likeness on Ed Harris. Wow. And there's going to be an exclusive Cowboy Dolores that's going to be exclusively at Walgreens instead of the Dress Dolores. Dope. And then the John Wick yep. down here looks John pretty Wick. sweet. Yeah, this is our John Wick Movie 2 action figure. Uh, this one's going to be going up for pre-order pretty soon. Um, here's our gallery PVC from uh, the movie one, from the first movie. That's going to be coming out pretty soon as well. Uh, this one we haven't solicited yet. This is him from the second movie in the catacombs, firing his big old shotgun. Yeah. And uh, down here, this is our uh, series one action figure from the first movie. And that's actually a production sample. He's got a lot of Ooh. great posability, and uh, this is going to be going to be one of our most articulated select figures ever made. Ooh. Yeah. They added nice. a lot of uh, additional articulation to the shoulders right. uh, and to the hips and the knees. And yeah. um, this is going to be coming out, I think, in the next uh, couple of months. A lot of double joints over there. I'm yeah, seeing them. Double I'm joints. Seeing. And, uh, yeah, we did a lot of a lot of articulation that we don't normally do on selects. Oh, I can't wait. And down here we got some Sonic. We got some Sonic figurines, some environmental dioramas, and uh, some uh, Sonic uh, racers uh, dioramas from the uh, new Sonic Team Racing, Team Sonic Racing game. Awesome. Looking sweet. This is our DC gallery uh, shelf. We've got, uh, these are our PVC dioramas. These are $50 suggested retail price. Uh, we're showing off a couple for the very first time. We're showing off the Red Hood. Yeah, uh, sick. Yeah, he came out really great. And we're showing off this Lobo. This is a Ooh, deluxe yeah. version. He's going to be about $70, but uh, I think it's definitely worth the price yeah. to come to this awesome bike. Right. He's got his chain. He's got his little cross necklace. Uh, the prototype was tough to put together, but uh, you won't have to put it together. It's all going to come all together in the box, and it's uh, it's one of the I think it's one of the most one of the best and most dynamic pieces we've done in the line. It's really cool. Excellent. And these are our Castlevania action figures. We have had a change to the Castlevania figures. They were going to be select, the higher price point, twenty nine ninety nine, with a lot of accessories. Um, we're going to downgrade them to um, standard action figure. They're going to have uh, some fewer accessories. Uh, now, Trevor's not going to have his big fur cape, but they're still going to be super poseable, and they're still going to have uh, a lot of cool accessories. So, and they're going to be a lower price point, nineteen ninety nine. Cool. So nice. that's good for good for collectors. You know, um, the accessories you might have a, little, a few of them, but it's not. Uh, I don't I think they're still going to come with some cool stuff. Hey, less stuff, less money. So hey. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, that's a piece of oh, Lobos. Uh, down here we got the here. we got the Vinnie Mates, the DC Vinnie Mates, um, Batman Returns. And also um, uh, the Batman Who Laughs and uh, Batman White Knight and Batman Damned. And we're doing a whole line of PVC statues based on uh, Teen Titans Go. Excellent, excellent. So, oh, over yeah. here we're getting into Marvel. Oh, yeah, we're getting some really, 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 really getting cool looking stuff. Marvel statues. Getting into the stuff Shardimus likes. Uh, yeah. We got. Um, we got our uh, premier collection statues up here. These are about $150. We're showing off this Miles Morales for the very first time. Down here, these are our more premier collections. Uh, oh, yeah. They're all about the same scale. They're all about a, a, a nine to nine, about a nine inch scale. Um, Hela, Hela is right here. She's new. She, we're showing her off for the first time. And uh, Juggernaut. Yeah, that Iceman, I've seen that Iceman before. Every time I see that Iceman up there, it's just like. Dr- it, blows my mind i don't know yeah. every now and then we get somebody who's like that silver surfer is awesome and i'm like it's not silver oh, surfer it's iceman get out of here. i was having to throw him out of the convention I throw him out conversation about whether iceman should be clear like completely clear like he turns entirely to ice or whether he should be like opaque like he's under a coating of ice but yeah yeah uh, it's that's, hard to say that's more like he's just totally clear yeah right? this is I like mean, he's totally clear it's a i, I I'm, a, I'm a sucker for translucent uh, toys and statues so yeah yeah no and for it being iceman i think it's like, yeah absolutely yeah, it's perfect 
And down here, we've got some of our milestones. These are the more expensive ones. These are $500, so just a retail yeah. price. So we got uh, Hulk with the Nano Gauntlet. We got Thanos. Oh, it's an interchangeable arm right there. Interchangeable arm, yep. And uh, we've got Angel. Now, Angel is based on uh, the Marvel's miniseries. Yeah. Uh, it's based on one of the Alex Ross covers. And um, it's, it's the 25th anniversary of Marvel, so we decided to do that for this year. Uh, I just I just bought my Marvel's trade paper back at uh, WonderCon after I'd lent my trade to somebody and never gave it back. Oh, man. I hate it when that happens. That's not cool. Yeah, yeah. It happens a lot. I'm, like, missing all <laughs> kinds of trades from my collection because I lend them and don't keep track. I can't find any of my Hellboy DVDs. I'm like, I know I had Hellboy <laughs> and Hellboy 2 on DVD, and now I can't find them. So oh, I must have loaned them out and not got them back, so yeah. I'm going to have to go rebuy them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is, these are our Marvel galleries. Uh, Jubilee we're showing off for the first time. Morbius uh, came out really great. We're showing him off for the first time. I'm a big Morbius fan. Uh, we've shown some of these other ones. Spider-Man, Beast, Punisher. Down here is the movie shelf. This is all stuff from Endgame. Uh, we've shown off uh, most of these before. Captain America, Rescue, War Machine, Ant-Man, Iron Man, Hulk. Um, down here we've got uh, some new stuff. Uh, this is the um, the a Marvel animated statues uh, from Gentle Giant Limited. Mm -hmm. So um, we're showing off Thanos for the first time, uh, Black Panther, and uh, Deadpool with his little Mercs for yeah. money. Uh, one mil a Merc, uh, <laughs> lemonade stand. Excellent. Wow, I love that Venom and Spidey. And these, this is a line we're showing off for the first time too. This is um, an oh. X Men the anim X Men the animated series line of busts. That so is Cyclops is going up for pre-order now. Uh, Magneto. Uh, I don't know which one is next. Magneto says spring. Jean Grey says summer. Uh, Wolverine says spring. So uh, look for Wolverine or Magneto to be offered next. That is and awesome. we have more characters we want to do. We're going to try to do the whole X-Men. I love those dual tone parts right yeah. there. That looks so great. The painter did just amazing, amazing yeah. stuff. Capturing like the highlights, the animation highlights. It's just, uh, it's just really great. Yeah. They, the shadows and the highlights. Ooh, yeah. um, so oh, la last but not least, Marvel we got the Marvel Select, Select shell. So um, we got Marvel Select and Marvel Mini Mates down there. Here we're showing off uh, the um, PlayStation 4 Spider-Man for the very first time um, based on the video game. And he's going to come with a webbing accessory. He's going to come with, I think, some interchangeable hands. And he's going to come with, uh, I believe that's a spider tracer. I'm not uh, an expert in the game. Uh, that, yeah, uh, no, it's the, uh, that's his little drone, the drone, spider, spider, spider drone. drone. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, Iron Man Mark 85 from Endgame. Uh, he's going to come with some interchangeable hands, including uh, a nano gauntlet hand, including one that has a snapping finger pose. Excellent. Uh, Hulk uh, from Endgame is going to also come with a nano gauntlet. Oh, yeah. Uh, this, one's, uh, this one looks a little little different than the one we solicited a picture of, uh, but I think this one looks a lot better, so hopefully people Yeah, get it. yeah. Is this, is this the one that's going to be closer to yeah. the actual production? Yeah, yeah, That was an early paint paint shot that we showed, but this one is a little di a little different. I think it looks really great. Yeah, me too. I, I totally can't uh, and over there on the end, you got Sandman, yeah. uh, which is going to be coming out pretty soon, and you've got... Uh, uh, that's sculpted by Gene St. Jean, which gave it a really great job. The other ones right. are all Gentle Giant Studios joints. And then we got uh, Psylocke. That's another Gentle Giant Studios. <laughs> And she's real posable, and she's uh, she's pretty cool. She's got the long Jim Lee legs, and she comes with a bunch of hands, uh, uh, another head, and that uh, that butterfly effect mask. That's pretty yeah. cool. So that's neat. Wow, tons of accessories yeah. over here, man. Oh, this is all looking incredible, man. It's uh, awesome. It's a lot of stuff. I can say that because I don't make any of it. I think it's all awesome. You, so. you get to just, like, look at the glory behind after the work's done. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a professional fanboy, so I just yeah. stand around and say, this is cool, and this is why it's cool, <laughs> and this is why you should buy it because it's so cool. So. <laughs> well, you're doing a fantastic job, Zach. Thank you, man. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, no, this is great. Looking forward to all this stuff, man. This is incredible. Thanks so much for your time. No. San Diego Comic-Con 2019. And we'll catch you guys later. Hey, new Short Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.